What's up? After a little trial and error, we did make it inside here. We're at the container yard. So thank you for Quality Containers for letting us come in here and shoot this video. Today we're looking at a closer look at the 1995 Defender 90. And this is a NAS. What does that NAS mean exactly? North American spec. This is actually number 59 of 500 cars produced for the North American market. Historically, the car was originally was called the 90 or the 110. It referred to the wheelbase. Okay. The 110 was 110 inches. The 90 was actually 93. This is a 90. They came in different configurations, pickup truck, wagon, soft top. So it's a 90 wagon. Let's take a closer look. Is this something somebody added on here, or is this the way they were sold to the, to the public? Right, so the truck is obviously modded. More off-road, got a safari feel. As you can see, we have a shovel, we have the jack, the fog lights, the winch, the car is lifted. It has a compressor uh, valve right here, so if you're out in the wilderness, you gotta wow. just plug it in. You can either, you know, power tools or inflate the tires, whatever accessories that you may need. So these additions were made from? Right, it's all put after market. So the oh, car is a little more aggressive okay. than what it would normally be from the factory. You can see that throughout the running boards, rear bumper brackets, roof rack, bigger, larger size tires. This is a really cool feature that I like. So if you're out somewhere camping, there's a ladder that pulls out wow. and you'll sleep on the roof to keep you safe from any wild animals snorkel here so if you're in deep water situations the car is not any kind of uh, risk so we can say this car is not a car that's made for miami this is absolutely the <laughs> opposite car for what you want in miami it is a special car because it is a nas there's a lot of cars that were imported and there's a lot of heavy modifications to the car because it is a north american spec it is equipped with a 3.9 v8 and a five-speed okay. manual. We'll go for our drive later and we'll get a feel for, for what that really is. Now the car is lifted, so being six foot three and six foot four, it, it's actually pretty tough. It's it actually, was... you have to work to get in. Average size. Average size person, it's, it's quite a struggle. Very high roof line, it is a manual. Most specialty cars, you usually sacrifice something. This one is the AC. No AC in the car but it does have a lot of accessories as you can see here. We got a compressor switch with all its gauges, your differential locking system, auxiliary lights. And you have um, some USB cable chargers here. We have some USB. All that was added on, that's not factory stuff. That's not things that you would find back in 1995. So okay. the car has been equipped a little more, a little more technology to make it more usable and you know, GPS system. One of the un unique features you'll find in the NAS is the roll bar. That was a requirement for the company. Throughout the car, there's a lot of different, a lot of differences, essentially, that that were just simply made out of pure requirement to get the car inside the United States. So no AC, but it has a bunch of other things you won't find in any regular car, which I think is pretty cool. I mean, it's the ultimate off-road vehicle. Yeah, exactly. And it's kind of like a gentleman's off-road vehicle, if that ever even makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, because the interior is pretty rough. I mean, it's a utility vehicle. And back in Europe and historically, these cars, you know, whoever bought these cars brand new, they would use them. They would use them for utility purposes. So if they were farmers, if they were hauling something, whatever the case was, that's what it was. Today is more of a recreational vehicle, at least here in the United States. We give it the, the specialty use only. This is not exactly the uh, practical city car. It's certainly going to be more of the off-road use. But as you can see, it does have, you know, power steering. It does have power brakes. Yeah. It's a car that essentially has gotten all the bugs cleared out. They polished it out. It's a the car has been proven. It's been dialed in from the factory as a proven car. And that's why it's always been so popular throughout the years. In fact, what? 
if we look at the original price of this car, we have the window sticker. It's in the 30s. You can wow. buy this car brand new in the 30s. Today, on a NAS like this one, which are highly sought after because they are limited production. Again, this run right here, we're talking about 500 cars only. Depending on the condition, mileage, there's a lot of factors, obviously, you gotta combine in order to assess a car's value properly, but between 80 and 90,000, you can get this kind of kind of car. And if it's something that's very customized or whatever, even in 100,000, we've seen them. thing you want to look at there's no fluids the car was not overheating that's for sure two main things is either electrical or a fuel issue stuck in traffic, traffic lights. But it gives me a good feeling, I like it. I feel nice and tall and safe in that truck. You know, it was enjoyable. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, comment, like. You can follow us on Instagram, link down below, link in the bio. Tell us what you wanna hear and we'll give it to you. And if there's something I mentioned or did not mention, you have questions, just write in the comments. I'll be more than happy to reply to all of them. Make sure to follow at Gaston Rosado, at Renzo Rosado, and we'll see you next week.